Sports Time at 6. Tonight, terrorism in Tampa. After years of investigation by government agencies, the feds make their move and arrest suspended USF professor Sammy Al Arian. In his capacity as a leader in the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, he directed the audit of all monies and property of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad throughout the world. I was the only person who was not convicted. And I was put in solitary confinement 23 hours a day, and sometimes for weeks, 24 hours a day. I wasn't allowed even to see my attorneys when she comes in. I wasn't allowed to call my family. For six months, I was not allowed to make a single phone call. Sammy Alarian arrived for court this morning before 9 a.m. under heavy security for a trial that's gained national and international attention. Alarian's defense attorney says this case is about a basic American right, the freedom of speech. This is a First Amendment case in that you have the right to be a member, you have a right to be a supporter, you have a right to take positions based on the violence. This is all First Amendment stuff. This is pure First Amendment stuff. For five months, the prosecutors laid out in detail a case painting Al Arian as the North American leader of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. But as News Channel 8's Steve Andrews tells us, once the government rested its case, so did Al Arian's defense without calling one witness. United States of America versus Sammy Amin Alarian. I'll read the paragraph for which we have a verdict. As to the offense of conspiracy to murder or maim persons at places outside the United States, we, the jury, find the defendant Sammy Amin Alarian not guilty. The judge started reading 20 minutes of not guilty verdicts was unbelievable. There was not one guilty verdict in 51 counts for four of these men. That's 200 counts. They didn't have a guilty verdict. Uh, Mr. Alarian uh, was not directly linked to any of the violent acts that we showed during the trial. Prosecutors admitted their case lacks hard evidence linking any of the defendants to those violent acts, but they say that in a conspiracy, such evidence is not required. Why did you vote not guilty on just about every count? I didn't see the evidence. There was no evidence against these guys. Not enough. You know, a lot of it, I felt it was hearsay. What would it have taken for a guilty verdict? Evidence. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. It's a very, very... 
theory 